Sup, sup, sup. Many of you have requested this deck profile. I did everything I could last night to uh, basically test it as much as I can to get comfortable with it and actually put up a deck profile for you as fast as I could. Now, um, I have a UA deck coming, but anything else, just leave it down in the comments section below so I can actually start working on it because I pretty much finished my top, uh, top five stuff, top ten. I'll be working on a guide to your side, but that's all irrelevant. It's all about galaxies right now. Many of you have waited very patiently, mind you, and I made sure to include the new support, including the the uh, full armor photon dragon. I believe that's the one we're getting in um, Cross Souls. I may be incorrect, but there'll be a preview video on that probably to go with this on the same day. So let's talk about galaxies. We have two galaxy eyes, photon dragon, two galaxy knight. I'm just going to run another deck and then explain it. Two swordsmen revealing light. 3 Galaxy Soldier, and 3 Galaxy Wizard. Some of you are probably looking at this set going, holy shit, that's a low count of monsters. Yeah, it really kind of is, but I'm, I'm going to explain it as I said. Then we have 2 Instant Fusion for the Panzer Dragon. It makes a really nice combo with Galaxy Soldier, which I'm going to go over in a minute. 1 Raigeki, 3 Excel, Excel Light, 3 Trade-In, 1 Soul Charge, 3 Galaxy Expedition, 2 MST, and 2 Galaxy Zero. Trap on up is Trent Tribute, Warning, Two Tachyon Transmigration, three Call of the Haunted, three Fiendish Chain, and one Capulse. Now, why the only 12 monsters? Technically, 14 when it comes to actually instant fusion. Because Excel Light allows me to get Galaxy Wizard, Galaxy Wizard allows me to grab a Galaxy Zero or just whatever the hell I need. Most of the time, Galaxy Soldier. So, very basic strong uh, combo is to go into a Felgrand and go into a Pallades and then lock down the board. Pretty much it's very, very nice if I could bring out a Galaxy with that too, but most of the time that doesn't happen. So, main reason for the low monster count is because I just really like didn't really like anything else for the monster lineup. That's as honest as I can go for this. So, 3 Galaxy Wizard with the 3 Excel Light just to make sure that I can get out... You know, one Excel light, it's like, okay, two is meh, and then three is, well, you want to see it as fast as you can to get to him, to get the deck, you know, rolling. So, Galaxy Knight, I'm not super huge on outside of his effect, and a lot of the times I'm not going to have that in the grave. The trade-in, some people don't like trade-in. I actually, trade-in was really good to me, in all honesty, especially with the plays plays. Uh, so it's a revealing light, very strong tech card. Anything with 2400 or less is, well, anything 2300 or less is going to die to uh, Swords from Revealing Light's effect, which is always really nice. So it stops the OTKs. It's, you know, really, 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 really solid. So basically, the only way to make rank 5 is Galaxy Soldier plus a Panzer Dragon, but you could just drop the Panzer Dragon to take out opponents' resources. Uh, Raigeki, not commonly seen. Mainly decided, not gonna say in this deck, mind you. Uh, mainly decided to run it because, hey, 4,000 fucking beat sticks with Raigeki just seems too strong for words. Uh, Soul Charge is pretty obvious. Galaxy Expedition mainly allows me to spam the fuck out of the board. And then the Transmigration is not super popular. It's not that great of a card, in all honesty, because you, you're kind of forced to go into a galaxy. But when it goes off, oh my god, it's so strong. The Recall of the Haunted, obvious lower monster count, is going to be played out with more traps. The Triple Fiendish Chain, very important right now. And let's go over the extra deck. We have two Panzer Dragon. These are level 5 light. Um, if I don't use it for exceeding, then if it's destroyed and sent to the grave, which it will be by Instant Fusion, I can target one card in the field and destroy that, car uh, destroy that card. So Instant Fusion becomes Instant Tech for the deck. Two Galaxy Eyes Full Armored Photon Dragon. That's a tongue twister. Um, basically, just overlay it on top one of the galaxy exceeds and go from there. And ba basically, you just equip two quick cards to him. And then once a turn, you can detach one exceed from this card and target one physical card your opponent controls and destroy it. It's good destruction. It's really good destruction for dealing with things on the board you don't want to really deal with. The galaxy on is uh, Photon Dragon, that 4000 status, two of them. Uh, two number 107s, two Felgrands, one Gaia. With M7. So you're probably going, how the hell do you make a rank 6? Well, see, M7 is also brought out by overlaying on Pallades. So once Pallades has done his job and doesn't have any more material, you just overlay it on him. Uh, one Vulcasaurus, two Pallades, one M7, one guy. Just make sure I went over everything. Thank you guys so much for the continuous requests and keep me so freaking busy. I wanted, I hope you guys are happy with the Galaxy deck. 
if you guys want, I'll post up a combo guide with dual videos. I'm still going to be working on this uh, for you know the next format, whenever the hell that is. So this way, the deck can just constantly improve. So the next time you see this, it'll be even better than this time. That's kind of just my thing I like to do. So uh, next on my list, I have a big list. I have Salvation now. So I am working on tunes. That's the big one for me I'm currently working on. I actually have a giant list here. So tunes are definitely something I'm going to be working on with Cyber Dragons. And if, if I didn't say it, there's about 40 that I have in front of me right now. But just keep requesting them. They're going to be coming out one by one. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.